because Carl has been very instrumental in our church from day one. And in a time of need, he really came through when we really need some, we needed some monetary help. But a little more on the man. Carl is a humble man. And uh, he is not like the Hollywood elitist that we read about all the time pursuing worthless causes. Carl's a married man, been married for 65 years, I believe, maybe, maybe longer. His wife's name is Mona, a lovely lady. Two lovely daughters, Mila and Carla. And uh, if you really want to learn a little bit more about the character of this man, you have to purchase the book, When Do I Start? It's a great, great book. It mentions a lot of the, uh, Gary history in it. And uh, there's another thing that you might want to get a hold of is the uh, arts and entertainment program that they put on featuring his life. And uh, he tells about working in the open hearts in the mill and that it was like, li like being in the living hell. And uh, it tells you all the things that he had to overcome to become the actor that he did. Anyway, one of my favorite memories about Carl is one night many years ago, my Tamboritsa Orchestra was playing at the Country Lounge in Hobart, Indiana. And as we tuned up and got stationed ready to play, I looked and there sat Carl Malden, his brother Milo, and his sister-in-law Betty. Yes. And of course, that made me a little nervous, but. I wanted so much to dedicate a song to Carl that night, but I figured if I use his real name in here, he's going to be overcome by well-wishers and autograph seekers. So I chose to dedicate the song to Mladen Sukulovic. That was a mistake, <laughs> because he was besieged by autograph hunters and well-wishers, and I think I ruined his whole night. And Rather than stick around, I called a fast break for the orchestra, and I went to the west wing of the uh, restaurant, and who do I encounter but another great Gary Hollywood personality named Rudy Horvitich, who was a well-known makeup man in Hollywood and for television. So as I chatted with him, I told him, Rudy, I says, one of your cohorts is on the other side of the restaurant. And he says, who's that? I says, Carl Malden. He bolted out of the seat, left me standing there with pie on my face, and he went to, to talk to Carl. So it turned, it turned into a nice evening, and uh, always fond memories for me that I ruined his night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I didn't ruin his meal. Um, I've had the pleasure of playing for Carl's mother's 100th birthday when she was at St. Anthony's, and what an evening that was. We trapped Carl into taking a photo with us, holding a tamboritza, and as we st stood there waiting for the cameras to click, I jumped into a song, and all of a sudden, I happened to look at Carl, and he beat me on the instrument. And I ended it abruptly, and I said to him, Carl, I said, you know, you would really fit in well with this orchestra. And he said, well, why is that? I said, because we're a bunch of fakers, too. <laughs> At any rate, 